This is a two jaw self centering chuck to be able to produce very accurate dice. 0.6 inches AF. It spins in the lathe. You take the dowel out. You take this block off, two capets, two dowels. And it rotates in the lathe. There's an old back plate about 100 years old. On the treadle lathe, indeed. Um, and to use it a drill jig, it fits back on the drilling machine table. Post back in, block back on, and the drill plate with all the hole locations that you want fits in. With a clever little accurate, clever little detent. Quite pleased with that. There we go, drill plate back off. And it's got left and right hand threads, obviously, so it's self centering. And there's the jaw action. Still works 30 years later. Mm, so it should. Right, so that's the two jaw chuck as it spins in the lathe with the block off and the rod out. And uh, let's have a look at it. I found this general arrangement drawing. Oh, this is going back a bit. It's laying in a drawer for 30 years in a file that would be made at the same time. Now, this is interesting. This is a card for an exhibition. There's the, the shaker itself on the left. Masters of Wood. I remember that man, Cecil Jordan, famous fella. He rang me a couple of years after this and boy, I had a cracking conversation. The last thing associated with this, with a dice shaker and dice, is this thing. Lathe Turned Objects. It's an exhibition catalogue for Philadelphia, USA. And there are the dice, there's the shaker, a little outrigger hinge I used to make. That's in three different sizes. That's an inch and a quarter diameter turn container. And that's a three tray hinged, one of a 